two-dimensional arrays versus jagged arrays. So two-dimensional arrays versus jagged arrays. I'm going to show you that in C sharp. All right, let's get started. So if you have a data type that's an integer, in my int equal to five, we already know that we could turn that into a multiple values into that one variable if we made it an array by saying it's an array. Um, and we'll have to declare it new int. And let's say we want five elements in that five items to go into that variable from zero to four, right? As far as indices of the array. So that would make sense. And we talked a little bit in a previous video about how we could do uh, multi-dimensional arrays, but let's separate multi-dimensional versus jagged. So if we had um, an array of arrays, that would be a jagged array, whereas a multi-dimensional array has a little bit different syntax, and those are also known as rectangular arrays. So, and I'll explain that. So if I had to put a comma in here or multiple commas, depending on how many dimensions you want, that would be a multi-dimensional array. So my multi-d array equal new int. You can put your dimensions like that. Whereas if it was a jagged array, you would put you'd put your dimensions out here on this side. My jagged array new int. Here it gets interesting here um, because you'll notice that you can't put the second five here. You see how it got underlined in red? It doesn't like that. You're not supposed to do that because we got really what's happening here is you've got um, a one dimensional array um, and each one of those elements within that one dimensional array is a reference to another array. So what we could do now is we could say my jagged array at position say zero is equal to, now we could specify that second array could do um, new int size three because now we're specifying them because if we put a number here if, if it did let us which it doesn't then we'd say they're all five It'd be kind of like this so we could say size three and let's say let's give the give each one a different length so you can really tell it's jagged right we'll draw it we'll draw it out for you too but let's say the first three elements will give it values, let's say int um, five and one. And now we can give them values. So, okay, so now you can do things like my jagged array at position one, four is one, two, three, or any number you want. Um, and this is interesting because um, right here, you can choose one, or zero, one, or two. Those are the ones that we've initialized. Um, now we could obviously initialize a couple more, but you don't want to go uh, past five here on the second dimension of this um, jagged array because the first uh, index of that array, the first dimension, we're calling it dimension, they're jagged. The first dimension of that jagged array um, is this row, is this line of code here, which has specified that it refers to an array that has size five and in uh, arrays in programming, we count from zero up. So zero, one, two, three, four. Four is the max on a size five. So if I was to change that to five, I would get an index out of bounds error. So that's the traditional way of assigning uh, values to a jagged array. However, shorthand format would be to just say equals new int without the size and specify curly brackets and you could just put numbers in like that. And it will figure out that it needs size five by counting the number of items being put in. And that works as well. So that's jagged arrays. Just remember it's array of arrays, right? 
Um, and if it's a jagged array, um, let's say I was to switch to uh, paint here, you could kind of think of it like um, if I was to have my, my array that has some positions within it, let's, let's just make it a, a four. Let's say, let's say it has four spots in this array. Each one of these has a pointer to another array. But those other arrays that they have pointers to don't all have to be the same length. And it, and it looks jagged, right? Whereas a two-dimensional array, they call them rectangular arrays because they are literally just A rectangle they're all the same length or more accurately another way we could show that is it would look it would look like this well imagine this one's the same length as the ones above it a better artist would know all right so let's take a look at what that would look like so a good way to look at these multi-dimensional arrays with that format is to say rows, number of rows, and number of columns. Of course, you can add a third dimension out there. Call that what you want. Let's do this the, uh, the shorthand way, just to show you putting values into it quickly um, with the rows, columns kind of concept. So in this case, we have five rows, five columns. Let's make it something that's not a complete square, so it's a little easier to understand. We'll do four rows, two columns. So everybody can picture rows, right? It's pretty easily. So let's just do it like that. So let's put some two numbers in each row, or two columns in each row. So you can assign it like that. Don't forget your semicolon. That works out pretty good. So now you've seen the difference between uh, jagged arrays and multi-dimensional arrays. In some scenarios, you can use them both the same way. You can loop through them similarly. Um, there, there just depends on the situation the project you're trying to, to do. So if you have any questions on this topic, feel free to leave me a question in the comments. Um, and um, hopefully I can give you a good answer. And have a great day. Very simple concept, right? Another simple concept coming your way soon. Take care.